How's that construction looking? Not anytime soon. You guys have leveled up once to being trained. I think we will pull you off training for now. One of these fellows will be trained soon enough. So, uh, you can also go off training. They'll be done soon enough, as will they. And then, uh, once all of those fleets are trained up to at least the base level, I'm going to move on to training some other different fleets, I think. So, that will be you, and you for now. We'll stick to just doing two of them. And then I'll just shift a few more in as necessary. You always keep historical off. Honestly, when it comes to crazy ahistoric things happening for insane reasons, that's what I play Kaiserreich for. Because I maintain that Kaiserreich is my favorite Hearts of Iron anything mod, really. Like, just to give you an idea, I literally bought Hearts of Iron Darkest Hour because of Kaiserreich. Which should give some idea of my thinking when it comes to a historic stuff, shouldn't it? Let's see, what are you currently doing? Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Look at that spelling. What happened to me? Uh, what do you mean? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, you... Huh, where is it? Uh, crazy like Crossy. Oh, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Honestly, with me it's a little 50-50 whether I notice misspellings and things like that. Which has led to some weird stuff in the past. Though half the weird stuff I'm pretty sure I can blame on autocorrect BS just screwing with me. Oh, and I didn't even notice till just now this shows how much attention I'm paying, but thanks for the follow. Really appreciate it. Anyways... Ugh. Either I'm totally missing it, or there's no button on here for just telling an individual fleet to go home. Jesus, if so, that is a really big oversight. Not being able to just point to a fleet and say, hey you, go home.
If that's the case, that is a really big oversight. That you can't just tell a fleet, hey, go home. <clears throat> and it's either that's the case, or I am just not noticing it right now. Okay, so right now, we have in this fleet one destroyer that has not leveled itself up enough for me to end this just yet. But we're about to purge that faction in not too much time. But we need a lot of infantry equipment for our reinforcements right now. And yes, faction purge of purginess. And German Civil War, hello. So yes, back to the default map mode I think. And the German military junta here has split away from Germany, which hopefully they win because they have Von Mackensen, aka the guy with a fucking skull on his hat, leading them. So if hats were a sign of military superiority, then the German, the Germans who don't like Hitler, should be a chew in for victory then, shouldn't they? Unfortunately, and I am very sad about this, hats do not necessarily indicate military superiority. Sad face. Very sad face. Let's see. I started going down the perch, the faction thing. Hmm. No, what now? Let's see here. Army expansion. I'm going to take a few of the focuses around expanding the army and navy before we actually get started with a war or anything. Let's see here. <clears throat> National mobilization law. That'll be pretty important. <clears throat> Guide the Zapatsusus, or however the hell you say that. <clears throat> Next, just so I can get the national mobilization to change that a little bit. And yes, Germany embroiled in civil war. A sudden Wehrmacht, uh, Wehrmacht, or Wehrmacht, I think it's um, supposed to be Wehrmacht because someone told me the W's in Germany are pronounced like a V, but I am terrible at pronouncing these sorts of names, so expect me to butcher it more than once. Anyways, sudden Wehrmacht coup by the famous Field Marshal August von Mackensen has triggered a civil war in Germany early this morning. Fascist royalists and Democrats alike have taken up arms, removed from the borders to see to the internal threat. The fascists, under orders of Hitler, have already vowed to destroy the nation rather than see it fall to treasonous Germans. Betrayed by the military. We cannot suffer the same. Oh, welcome back. Didn't even realize you'd gone. I thought you were just not feeling very talkative, honestly. Anyways, if you missed it, we just had a civil war in Germany. 
so Mackinson has decided that he's not cool with Hitler and decided to stage a military uprising. So we may have a German Empire coming back soon. And I did actually set for them to try that, by the way. Let's see. Raiding regiments. Special forces modifiers. Ships, guns. Da, 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 da. Nationalist Spain has declared war on Spain. Spanish Civil War is a thing. Yeah, not gonna bother to read the Spanish Civil War event since that one's just so common that I think at this stage everybody knows what it says. But, I will read the more important and relevant ones when I get the chance. Anywho, how are you going? 39%? Our battleship fleet here is getting pretty close to leveling up out of being fresh. Ninety-two percent, ninety-eight percent, ninety-eight percent. Okay, then. Let me see here. Dum 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 dum. Eighty percent. That's most of the battleships and light cruisers. <laughs> you need ice cream. Oh, so like how I need iced tea then. Makes perfect sense. Go repair. Those guys are just hanging out right now. Apparently. On the way to repair. There's a lot of capital ships in there. Uh, uh, iced tea is your favorite drink. Uh, oh, really? Uh, well, it happens to be mine, too. Uh, uh, as evidence, I suppose, by the fact that I go through about a pitcher of iced tea a week. Uh, I really drink way too much iced tea. And in fact, I probably drink way too much water, too, if that's possible. Honestly, because... I do a lot of stuff that involves talking, so, you know, talk too much, and I start coughing a lot and need something to drink. So, yeah. Okay, so you guys can stop training. And go home to make some repairs. Since you're done with all the training you'll need to do, I think. So. They're nice and trained. As are they. You guys. Right here. Can do your own training. That one destroyer right here appears to be taking its sweet ass time to train up. 
reason. Electronic mechanical engineering research is done. <clears throat> so, if you're here right now, Jib, quick question. Mechanical computing or radios as my next research? Or should I move on to uh, artillery or better warships, do you think? What do you think about that? I mean, I could decide for myself, but you are here, so I might as well ask. <clears throat> yeah. My typical... <clears throat> what I usually do is go for mechanical computing, actually. <laughs> and I do agree, the reduced time to research is quite excellent. on a little training exercise of your own. It's going to really bite into my fuel to have that many capital ships out. But I'm going to do it anyways because I'm an idiot. Our destroyers here will be done researching, uh, sorry, training soon up to the basic level. And then I can move on to using them for something more interesting. Like sitting in the harbor and doing jack shit. Because clearly that's more interesting, right? Clearly. Back up to four speed for now. <laughs> Nuke 500. Sounds interesting. If I ever decide to just mess around and console command stuff just for the hell of it, then I'll give that a shot. Again, that one destroyer does not want to finish its training. What is up with those guys, honestly? Ninety-six percent here. That one destroyer needs to finish its training, and then I'm taking that fleet off of its exercises. This group of them will take a while, and these fourteen here are the ones chewing up a lot of my fuel, because that is... Actually, they're not. I take that back. It's only one capital ship. So they're not the ones chewing up the bulk of the fuel. But overall, right now, we have about six or seven capital ships active, I think. But a bunch of our ships are jumping into being regulars. Should give them quite the combat buff once it comes time to actual war. <laughs> yes man, yeah. <clears throat> I've had to use yes man a couple of times. <clears throat> or yes men, rather. <clears throat> and Baden, hello and welcome to the stream. And I honestly don't remember if it was Yes Man or Yes Men. That's not a command I use very much, except to resolve problems with bugs and AI doing nonsensical things that it really shouldn't be doing. Like, for example, giving a nation that did none of the work in a war all of the territory when they capitulate. I use it for fixing stuff like that, but that's about it. Uh, 
Okay. How are you doing? Ninety-nine percent. That destroyer should rank up in its experience to being a regular or trained rather pretty soon. And it's taking quite a bit longer than everyone else. So that's the thing. How are these guys doing? Okay, three... Let's see, one submarine, one destroyer, and one light cruiser that need to rank up before that fleet can stop training. They're still at it. You guys can now go home. Your training is finished. Okay. Did not mean to do that. So, uh, you can dock somewhere, find the nearest port, and have you dock if I can. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, that's the one you got them operating at. Go dock. Just go home. You're done. And everyone in your fleet is nice and trained up. You guys are also done on your training. Please go home. Our machine gun and mortar thingamawatsit is done, as is basic machine tools. And of course, being Japan, we start with level 1 marines. So... Uh, for my next two research options... I'm going to... I think I'm going to go with Concentrated Industry. But, for the second one, do you think Interwar Artillery, a second stage of Grand Battle Plan, or Carrier Primacy? Because... That's the research I am going to be doing is concentrated industry. And as I said, carrier primacy, level 2 grand battle plan, or interwar artillery. Get me some opinions on this, would you? <laughs> and while I'm waiting on that... We'll have a look-see over here. 96%. 86%. And the usual with that guy. And now, we can get a couple more fleets on training. Just two more for now. Anyways, let's see here.
Ah, oh, screw it. I'll just go with interwar artillery now. We need a lot more aluminum, though, because... Our trade deal with the German Reich kind of fell through. Maybe set one up with Yugoslavia. There we go. That solved that issue. I may have to get one of our fleets to stop training. Or trade for more oil. No, not like that. Nugget. Hey, Venezuela. Can I get some more oil, please? Much appreciated. Much appreciated. <sighs> Tired? <clears throat> what time? <laughs> Oh, uh, that's right, different time zones and stuff. Because I was just about to say, it's only about 2.30 where I am, but... That's right. Over in Europe, it's like 7 or 8 p.m., isn't it? Guide the however the hell you say that name is finished, so... That's some um, increases to our factory output and factory construction times. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to immediately rush national mobilization law. I shall change our economy law to war economy uh, for the obligatory factory conversion and factory stuff. Uh, didn't sleep much. Uh, oh, I've been there, trust me. I could tell you all kinds of stories about some of the times back when I was still in college where I ended up staying up till like 2 or 3 p.m. or something. Italy annexed Ethiopia, okay. United States passes the Neutrality Act. Heavy restrictions on trade with nations at war. Yes, yes. Okay, that's it. three fleets we've got doing their stuff right now. So let's add in another. Because of reasons. These folks have all trained up enough. A lot of them are regulars, but we still have this one destroyer that hasn't leveled up yet. That's annoying. I may have to just accept that one is not going to level up. I would rather not accept that, but I may have to. Working on our training everywhere else, though. but. I'm not going to add anyone else to this list. Uh, people who are training, we'll just let our oil build back up to maximum before I do that. Hmm. 
test the Soviets. I could do that and activate a border provocation, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. Honestly, I would be quite content if I did not end up making war with the Soviet Union. I'd be quite content by that. Even if I don't regard it as being particularly likely, quite frankly.